Martin Kempman set to enter the world famous octagon once again. Martin Kempman was a Danish Thai boxing champion and has very crisp technique and good power when he fights on his feet. He's also got a remarkably underrated ground game, Mike. Martin Kempman fired up and ready to go. making his way to the world-famous octagon. Philo is a very talented grappler, a black belt in jiu-jitsu with good takedowns, and a solid chin. He's got a great deal of experience, won all eight of the fights he had in pride, and he's a former WEC middleweight title holder. Paulo Philo, ready to throw down and put on a show. Our Tale of the Tape is brought to you by Boost Mobile. Once again, with our official introductions for this battle, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. And now, five rounds for the UFC Middleweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. He stands six feet tall. Weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Martin, the Hitman, Catman! And now, fighting out of the red corner, this man is a mixed martial artist. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. He is the former WEC middleweight champion, Paolo Eli Filio. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Dan Mergliata. This is for the UFC Championship. I want a nice clean fight. I want to obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Come on out fighting. Back to your commands. Mike Goldberg, Joe Rogan, set for the start of round number one. Are you ready? Are you ready? Martin Campman, Paulo Filo. And we are Let's go underway. Fight. Joe, the first thing that comes to mind when you speak of Martin Campman is his excellent Thai boxing skills, but he's got pretty good grappling ability as well, doesn't he? He really knows how to mix the two up, Mike, and that's one of the best things about him. He knows how to switch from strikes to grappling, grappling to strikes, can submit guys or knock them out. He's very well-rounded. What an exchange here. by a big body shot. Swing and a miss. Nice counter. Uh-oh, these are big strikes. He is teeing off right now. And now he's answered. Just punishing him. Oh, they're just throwing. Oh, they're exchanging here. And oh, he answers. Hurt. Teeing away. Oh, big overhand right. Both guys staying in tight. Oh, over the top. Working with the over under. Over under here. Under 90 seconds remains in round one. He's got that single. Good takedown defense. 
Sometimes shorter, quicker punches are the way to go. They might not have as much power behind them, but the most important thing is that they land. When a fighter winds up with big bombs, it takes more time for those punches to land. And the shorter, more effective punches are getting there for Transitions to the full mount. Oh, brutal ground and pound. Well, he got rocked, but man, he snapped that quick. The real key here is to use the cage to help get yourself back to your feet. Uh, and he's down, take down. Round one is in the books. The crowd is on its feet. These two fighters kept it standing, and they went to war, Joe. That was a beautiful display of striking skills from both guys, Mike. That round there is why we love this sport so much. Over the big hook, use the right hand. Hook right hand. Work off those punches. Remember, defense and offense at the same time. Okay. Put that offense. Cut that angle. Put that offense. Cut that angle. Put that offense. Let's take a look at the replay, Mike. This was well timed here. Just a beautiful slip and counter. And this is that ground and pound, pure domination right there. Great round for fans of the stand-up game. Hands up inside. The leg kicks are there. All right, the leg kicks are there. The beautiful Ariani gets us set for round number two. Are you ready? Are you ready? We start round two. Go, this fight. fight scheduled for five. Five minute rounds. Nice high kick. And another takedown. He's got side control. Campman is bleeding. Reversal. Very nice. Moves in a half guard here. Postures up. That's a pretty good size cut now on Campman, Mike. Into half guard. Moves into full mount here. He's got half guard. Oh, he gets reversed. He's past nice. the half guard. He caught the leg. He's in full guard. Side control. Oh, big elbow. Oh! Half guard. Oh, he got reversed. Three minutes remains in the second round. He ate that one. Half guard. Oh, reversal. Pressure, pressure. Great job on the reversal. Nice right hand. Boom. Working hard to try to get out of this bad spot. Into half guard. Oh, he got reversed. He caught the kick. Two minutes left in the second. Big right hand. Passes the half guard. Able to posture up. He caught the leg, and he lets him back up. Oh, looping hook there. He takes him down again. Great reversal. Just over a minute remains. He's in guard here. And he's got he's side, side control. control. And he gets reversed. Thirty seconds remains in the round. And back to full guard. Side control again. He's got half guard. He's in full guard. Pushes him off with the feet. Two rounds in the books. Three rounds to go in this UFC title fight. Man, they really mixed it up in that round, Joe. Yeah, both these guys are very well-rounded, and they had a chance to show it in there. Control range. Finish with This is the round he's going to break. You hear me? You've got to take it to him. You can dump him, you can control him. He's going... Hey, look it. Just score. All you need to do is score. You score with that takedown, you score with your jab, mix up your jab. Let's take a look at some of the action from that round, Mike. We saw some great efforts to get the takedown. Look at the struggle to finish this one here. And this was that nice counter, just perfect movement here. And again, a lot of energy being spent with these takedown wars. A lot of versatility being shown in that round, Mike. Punches. Hey, find the knees right after. Get to the body some too, okay? 
Ready to start round three. There's the beautiful Brittany. Are you ready? Are you ready? And we are set for the start of round three. This is a championship fight, so it is scheduled for five five-minute rounds. The clinch game once again. Wow, the power of the takedown there. And into full mount. Half guard. Into his guard. Back to side control. Oh! Half guard. He's in the guard. He's got side control. Reversal. Very nice. Side control. Oh! And again! He loves throwing that punch. He caught the kick. Beautiful hook. Fast hands. Good battle inside. Oh, but he oh, ate a left hand. Left. He shoots. Again, the takedown is stuffed. Oh, he got tagged with a hook. Stuffed. Two minutes. No, no, no. He is getting battered. Over the top. Jelly closed the distance. Now the clinch. Nice. He's hurt badly. He's down. He dives into the guard and punishes his opponent. Pushing his opponent away. He decides to let him up. Under a minute remains. Oh, big kick. Outstanding takedowns. Oh, he hit him with a big left hook. Good sprawl. They clinch again. Good takedown defense. Oh, big left hook. Stuffed. And that takes us to the end of round number three. We head to the championship rounds. A superb display of mixed martial arts skills from both fighters. Yeah, these are two very well-rounded guys, Mike. It'll be interesting to see what adjustments they make before going into the next round. Hey, you're never against the cage. You turn him, I want you to lean and dig into the body. You gotta punish him this Breathe. All right. Go to the body and press him back. Breathe. Come on, breathe. breathe. Let's check out some of the action from that round, Mike. This was an unbelievable suplex. Beautiful technique. And some incredible power on that shot here. Just connected perfectly. Nice action there, Mike. That liver kick's working. Everything you're doing is working. He's loading up. He's trying to take... Shandella gets us ready for round four. Are you ready? Are you ready? Ready for the start of round four. Fight. This fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Nice. Oh, big shot. He's down in the guard. Side control. He ate that one. Boom! And into side control. Into half guard. Oh, he gets reversed. Side control. He's got half guard. Full guard here. Now into side control. And really raining down some haymakers. Philo's really starting to bleed now, Mike. He's in side control here. Half guard. He's looking for Kimura. 
Great submission defense. Oh, he's out of it. Nicely done. Oh, he's mounted him. Good job, hip escaping there. Moves to half guard. Oh, he got reversed. Work that wrist control. Get your feet on his hips. Posture's up. Into the guard. Side control now. Big elbows and punches from the top. Into full guard here. Side control. Nicely done. Wow, that right hand. Half guard. Submission time. Five seconds remains. One, six, two, five. Tap, 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 go. Good sprawl. Uh, they're going to close it up again, right to the clinch. Nice right hand. And that is the end of, right, of round number four. Solid action to take us into the fifth. Yeah, these guys are showing why they're at the top of their division. Good boxing, good wrestling, good jujitsu. Every aspect of their game is rock solid. Heavy hands for me. Heavy hands for me, all right? You want this fight? You gonna go win this round? You got to fight. You win this round, you got to fight. Okay. Let's go to the replay of that round, Mike. Nice, stiff counter right here. And some incredible power on that shot here. Just connected perfectly. Solid action in that round, Mike. Look me in the eye. He's got nothing for you. Straight Ariani gets us set for the fifth and final round. Are you ready? Are you ready? This is the Let's fifth go, fight. and final round. And again! He's really landing those short punches inside, Mike. Good takedown defense. To the midsection. Nice right hand. He's got the clinch. Nice knee. Oh, beautiful hook. He gets the clinch here. He's got a clinch. Stuffed. Countering and scoring big time. Big left hook. Big shots. Oh, he's rock, Mike. Oh, big right hand. He's down. He looked hurt, but he recovered quick. Going for over under here. Side control. In the half guard. Mount. Oh, reversal. Two minutes now remains in the fight. Side control. He's got half guard. 90 seconds remains in the fight. Oh, he got reversed. Good sprawl. Oh! And he mounts. Oh, he gets reversed. Oh, he got reversed. Good sprawl. He's got the mount. Full mount. This is not good. Oh, 
reversal. Pushes him off of the feet. Nice, nice. They go the distance and will head to check out the judges' scorecard. Stop, stop, stop. Joe, nice that was nice a pretty nice. darn good fight. That was an awesome fight. Let's take a look at the replay from that round, Mike. Here's that beautiful counterpunch. And some incredible power on that shot here. Just connected perfectly. And you can see this punch here did some major damage. The judges have rendered their scorecards. Bruce Buffer has the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score it 48, 47, 48, 47, and 48, 47. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision. And now, the new UFC middleweight champion of the world. Martin, the Hitman Catman. Martin, the Hitman Catman is the new UFC middleweight champion.